Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all kneel for our daily offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Father, I offer you my day. I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit, who guided Jesus, be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love. With Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church, I pray especially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray that Catholics may place the celebration of the Eucharist at the heart of their lives, transforming human relationships in, in a very deep way and opening to the encounter with God and all their brothers and sisters. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, and my personal intentions today. Amen. Please remain kneeling for the fourth day of our novena to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. O Virgin of Carmel, Mary Most Holy, in order to show your special love for the Carmelites, you did honor them with the title of your sons and daughters, encouraging them with a, fa a singular favor so that they might find in you, as in a most loving mother, the remedy, counsel, and protection in all their afflictions and necessities, assisting them, meanwhile, to acquire your excellent virtues. We beg of you, O Lady, that you assist us so that we may be able to enjoy the company of your Son, and that our names may be written in the Book of Life of the Sons of God, and brothers of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is what we ask and humbly supplicate you. This we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration Today is Monday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time. Come to the table, enter his presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. Come to the table, enter his presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. We will now begin with our celebration. The gospel of today provide us with the necessary understanding of touching God and be touched by Him. The story of helplessness and hopelessness with the story of God's mercy and compassion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and compassion. For our lack of faith, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For our lack of charity, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For our lack of hope, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestowed eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob departed from Beersheba and proceeded towards Haran. When he came upon a certain shrine, as the sun had already set, he stopped there for the night. Taking one of the stones at the shrine, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep at that spot. Then he had a dream. A stairway rested on the ground with its top reaching to the heavens, and God's messengers were going up and down on it. And there was the Lord standing beside him and saying, I, the Lord, am the God of your forefather Abraham and the God of Isaac. The land on which you are lying I will give to you and your descendants. These shall be as plentiful as the dust of the earth, and through them you shall spread out east and west, north and south. In you and your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. Know that I am with you. I will protect you wherever you go and bring you back to this land. I will never leave you until I have done what I promised to you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he exclaimed, Truly, the Lord is in this spot, although I did not know it. In solemn wonder, he cried out, How awesome is this shrine! This is nothing else but an abode of God, and that is the gateway to heaven. Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone and then that he put under his head, set it up as a memorial stone, and poured, poured oil on it. He called the site Bethel, whereas the former name of the town had been Luz. Jacob then made this vow. If God remains with me to protect me on this journey I am making and to give me enough bread to eat and clothing to wear and I come back safe to my father's house, the Lord shall be my God. This stone that I have set up as a memorial stone shall be God's abode. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, my God, I place my trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. In you, my God, I place my trust. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter, has just died. But come, lay your hands on her, and she will lead. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel 
of this clock. She said to herself, If only I can touch this clock, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Carriage daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but is sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this is spread throughout all that land. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Jesus, on the way to perform one miracle, affects another. From the urging of Jarius to touch his daughter, who is now dead, to the urging of a hemorrhagic woman, to touch Jesus' clock and order to be healed. Both have deep faith and confidence in Jesus' power to save. Their prayers are answered in a most marvelous way beyond their expectations. On the one hand, Jarius, as leader of the synagogue, put his reputation, honor, and possession on the line in order to obtain greater favor from God. On the other hand, the hemorrhagic woman, bleeding for 12 years, must her carriage and a strong faith to touch Jesus' clock, whereby Jesus turned to the woman and says, Your faith has saved you. Finally, on the healing of Jairus' daughter, Jesus put out the crowd that was like a tomb that kept the girl dead. Jesus came, brought the twelve years old daughter out of the tomb and gave her life. With the crowd, the girl was dead. With Jesus, she was alive. Ano pong aral ang maaring mapulot natin sa kaganapan ng ating Ibanghelyo? Ang una, Jesus brought healing and peace to the helpless. Are you helpless? Are we helpless? Just like the woman in today's gospel, for God's mercy is abundant and beyond our comprehension. Ang ikalawa, Jesus brought light where there was once death to the hopeless. Walang maitataya si Jarius, kundi ang kanyang reputasyon, ang kanyang posisyon, at ang lahat ng papuring kanyang tinatanggap. Sapagkat itayaman niya ito, hindi niya kayang ibalik ang buhay. Jairus was totally hopeless. But God 
will never reject anyone who turns to Him for mercy. Let us now learn touching God and be touched by Him. Let us be Jesus for others rather than crowd that prevents us from living life fully with meaning and purpose, with joy and peace. Katulad po ng ating patrona, Margaret Mary Alaco. Ang greatest desire niya ay mahipo ang puso ni Jesus. But on the process, si Kristo ang naghipo ng kanyang puso. That's why she was given the privilege as the apostle of the Sacred Heart. This rise. In response to faith, Jesus came to the aid of the woman with blow of blood and the daughter of a synagogue official. May we have confidence in Jesus who has the power to give light to the dead. Our response, Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That parents who grieve over their children, who have gone astray, who suffer infirmities or who have died, may experience the comfort of the Lord and the help of those close to them, we pray. Lord, Lord comfort, comfort us in, in our, our sorrow. sorrow. That the Lord may protect the unborn from the menace of abortion and deliver the children everywhere from any kind of harm and evil, we pray. Lord, comfort, Lord, comfort us, us in our, in our sorrow. sorrow. That like the woman suffering from hemorrhages, may women receive help from the Lord in giving birth, in their sickness, in attending to the needs of their family, and in their personal problems, we pray. Lord, Lord comfort, comfort us in, in our, our sorrow. sorrow. That those burdened by self-doubt, pessimism, and drooping spirit may draw comfort in Jesus who took the little girl by the hand and made her to rise again, we pray. Lord, Lord comfort, comfort us in, in our, our sorrow. sorrow. That those who have gone to the sleep of death may wake up to the joy of eternal life, we pray. Lord, Lord comfort, comfort us in, in our, our sorrow. sorrow. And for the intentions of our parish community, the particular petitions and thanksgiving intentions being offered in this Mass and our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, Lord comfort, comfort us in our, in our sorrow. sorrow. Lord Jesus, consoler of those who mourn, you dry the tears of the family of the synagogue officials, of the sisters of Lazarus, and of the widow of Naim. Comfort those who mourn for the dead and come to the aid of all who suffer great loss. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice. Blessed be God forever. 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the light of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. For we know it belongs to the boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even passion for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. To him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the pond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew pond, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Margaret Mary Alacoque, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called earth to eternal light and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With the love of Christ, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You will receive communion by rose. Please remain seated and wait for the ushers to guide you to the communion line. In Him alone is our hope, in Him alone is our strength, in Him alone are we justified, in Him alone are we saved. does not fade or wither. Can the world ever satisfy
despite the emptiness in our hearts in vain we deny in him alone is our hope in him alone is our strength in him alone are we justified in him alone are we saved let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Turn the hearts of your people always to you, O Lord, we pray. And as you give them the help of such great patroness, Margaret Mary Alacoque, grant also the unfailing help of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Heart of Jesus, meek and mild, hear, oh, hear thy feeble child. When the tempest most severe of Jesus here sweetly will rest on thy sacred heart never from thee oh let us part hear then thy loving children's prayer oh heart of jesus heart of jesus he